Hi, Andy Wade's here, and of course, there you are. We're all watching the Kilauea volcano, though. We're wondering what's going to happen with that, right? But do you remember May 18th, 1980, when Mount St. Helens blew? That was the first time scientists actually had instruments taking precise measurements up to and including a volcanic eruption. And some of those scientists actually came from Hawaii, where they had been observing Kilauea lava flow. Well, I had the honor of narrating the quintessential book about Mount St. Helens. It's called In the Path of Destruction, Eyewitness Chronicles of Mount St. Helens. It was written by a USGS scientist who was one of the first on the scene to help measure and catalog the devastation. While the author is a scientist, and there is a lot of data in the book, this is not a dry, clinical read. He interviewed a ton of people. He weaves their stories together into this rich narrative tapestry that just envelops you uh, before, during, and after the eruption. Yet the science, the politics, the rescue efforts, the media coverage, the personal stories of people caught in this pyroclastic blast zone and beyond that. The author collected his interviews and data back then and then talked to the same people again decades later and some that wouldn't talk to him back in 1980. He comes at it from every angle. It's a compelling, gripping story. It takes you right there. You'll meet David Johnston, who was 30 years old when he was killed at what is now Johnston Ridge Observatory overlooking Mount St. Helens. You get to know this cantankerous old fart named Harry Truman. He was profane. I mean, the book includes some of his rough language, including the F word and taking God's name in vain. But he was a tough old guy who just would not leave. And he's never been found. You'll meet the rangers, the police, the scientists, the governor, who some blame for the 58 deaths. The lumberjack, who was the only one of his crew of four to survive. You won't believe this story. A husband and wife geologist, both of them geologists, flying over Mount St. Helens in a Cessna when it erupted. Imagine diving, trying to outrun a volcano cloud in this tiny plane. This is not a small book. It's 17 hours of compelling narrative that play out just like the volcano. The initial buildup, the curiosity, starting in March of 1980. You get the eruption itself, and then the aftermath. Reports from the air, from the lab, from people who were caught in the path of destruction. This is a magnum opus. I'm so proud to have been selected to narrate it. And here's a funny thing. The author's name is Richard Waite, and of course mine is Andy Waites. Kinda neat. <laughs> it's available at audible.com, Amazon.com and iTunes. I sure hope you'll listen to it.